Today we are going to do a quick review on the HyperX Cloud Stinger for the Xbox One. This headset, many considered it to be the best budget headset, so I just had to get it for myself a while back, and I finally got around to doing a review on it. But before we go any further, let me just say I have owned and tried out some of the other HyperX headsets in the past, including the Cloud One, the Cloud X, or now I believe it's called the Cloud Pro since they rebranded that one, and also the Cloud Two. So I had to give this one a try and see how it did compared to the others. As far as the pros and cons, let me start with the pros. The first good thing is that it's cheap. I got mine for just under $50, and after shipping and taxes it came out to about $55, which is still a great deal for nearly any gaming headset on the market today. It's actually one of the lowest priced headsets I've ever bought for either my Xbox 360 from years past or now for my Xbox One. And the second thing, and these things really stood out to me, the frame, the slider, and the ear cups. The metal slider, to have that on a $50 headset, you just don't see that from too many products at all, especially at this price point. The frame or band is made out of plastic, but it's not made out of super cheap plastic. I've had this headset for about six months now, and it's still going strong. And the ear cups and the band have memory foam, which I am a huge fan of. So I love that part of it. Another pro, and it's probably the best thing about this headset, is the microphone. It works on all games on Xbox One, including backward compatible games, unlike with the Astro A50 Gen 4. This microphone is one of the best on Xbox. Take the budget aspect out of your mind, that doesn't matter. I would say this one has one of the better overall mics for a headset being used on the Xbox One. However, that's when it's new. I've heard other people that have this exact headset, and over time, the mic can go bad. But when it's newer, yes, this mic is one of the best, hands down. I think some of those other people could have also possibly pulled the chat cord, but who knows. To the cons now, the first thing I didn't like about it, it drained my battery life twice as fast as it usually does because it plugged directly into the controller. That can get old after a while, but that's a really small issue. The second con, I know I said I love the memory foam and I do, but that isn't everything when it comes to comfort. When I have it on my head, this headset feels too tight. I'm constantly readjusting it. If the band would be able to slide just another inch or two, that extra inch of room would make a huge difference with the headset. So for comfort, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, which isn't bad for a budget headset, but at times it's just too tight for my head. So that's why I have to knock it down a little bit, despite it having really nice memory foam. And the major complaint that I have, and this might be different for you because everyone's hearing is different, I don't think this is a very good directional sounding headset for shooter games. But for a racing game or something else, it would probably work just fine. The sound isn't bass heavy at all, it's somewhat clear, but it just lacks in the direction and the pinpoint aspect. And you really need that for shooter games. So overall, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. Mostly because of the price and because of how good the mic is when it's new. And the overall build, it looks like it's going to last a while. As long as you don't pull out the cord, I don't think it's going to break. Like I said, I've had it for six months and it's still going as if I just bought it. And when it comes to comparing this headset to the others from the HyperX family, I've owned the other main ones and used them for Xbox, and this cheaper one beats most of them. Maybe not the Cloud Pro, but the HyperX Cloud Stinger is better, in my opinion, compared to the rest of them. This is the only current HyperX headset I would recommend for console. Their headsets are more meant for PC. In fact, I actually traded in the Cloud 2s just to get this. 
And I think this cheaper headset is the better one between those two, believe it or not. The mic is way better on the Stinger compared to the Cloud 2. So, yeah, give it a try if you want. I think the Stinger is a decent headset for a good price. Maybe not the best for shooter games, but give it a try. If you already own it, tell me what you think in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.